Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to install the appropriate Mac drivers for the SPL Crimson interface. To install our drivers, simply go to spl.info and click on the Crimson button in the menu. On the Crimson page, click on the Apple icon to the right of the page to start the download. After downloading the driver, locate the folder containing the driver in your Downloads folder and open it. You will find two drivers, a README file, and a PDF containing a little more information on drivers and sample rates. If you have OS 10.8, please do not install our driver. In 10.8, Apple has caused a variety of issues by restructuring sandboxed audio applications and the programming interface was not reliable enough to issue a driver. However, the Crimson will still work in 10.8 as Crimson is class compliant and works with Apple's USB driver. For all other OS that are 10.6 and higher, i.e. 10.7, 10.9 and 10.10, please open the SPL Crimson driver 3.2 or the most current driver available. Double-click on the SPL Crimson file, in this case I have opened the folder containing the newer drive, and the installer will guide you through the necessary steps to install the driver. Type in your password if need be, and let our installer and your computer work the magic. Once the installation is complete and your computer has rebooted, simply connect your Crimson to its power supply and to a USB cable that you also hook up to your computer. The power and the host LEDs will then illuminate indicating that the Crimson is connected and ready to go. To assign your computer audio to the Crimson outputs, just open the Audio MIDI setup, select the Crimson Core Audio Driver as the output device for system audio playback from iTunes or YouTube, and down below, select to use the Crimson as the output device. You can also open your settings, go into Sound, check the box to show the volume control in the menu bar, and then Alt click on the volume control. There you can also select all of your output devices. Now all you have to do is select the Crimson Bit Accurate driver as the audio device in your DAW. Please note that under 10.9 and 10.10 .10, there is the selection between the Crimson Core Audio and Crimson Bit Accurate drivers, whereas under 10.6 and 10.7 there is only one Crimson driver. For more information, please refer to the driver recommendations PDF enclosed in the installer download.